there are three infinitely long straight parallel current carrying conductors one two and three conductor one is carrying current i conductor two carrying a current of three amp three i amperes third conductor carrying a current of four i amperes distance between conductor one and two is r distance between conductor two and three is two r the total distance between conductor one and three is two r plus r three r the first question is to find magnitude and direction of net magnetic field at a point a lying on conductor one and second one magnetic force on conductor two for a straight long parallel uh, conductor straight long conductor the magnetic field is given as mu zero i by 2 pi r where i is the current passing through the conductor and r is the perpendicular distance from the conductor to the point so here at a the magnetic field contributions are only from conductor 2 and conductor 3 for a straight conductor thin straight conductor the magnetic field produced by the conductor along its own length is zero so this conductor will not produce any magnetic field along its own length if it's a thin conductor that's coming from biot's words law mu zero i by 4 pi dl sin theta by r square so the theta sin theta part is becoming sin zero if the point is along the length of the conductor tl and r are parallel so the magnetic field produced by a conductor along its own length if the thin conductor is zero that means you don't want to take the magnetic field of conductor one at a at a the magnetic field is only contributed by conductor 2 and conductor 3. So we need to find magnetic field at A due to conductor 2 and magnetic field at A due to conductor 3. So for magnetic field at A due to conductor 2, the same formula to be used, only I and R to be changed as per the question. For conductor 2, current is 3I, so I become 3I. The distance between Conductor 2 to point A perpendicular is R only. So it will be mu 0 i by 2 pi R will become mu 0 3 i by 2 pi R. Now for the direction of the magnetic field, here the current is towards left. So use right hand thumb rule. The current is towards left. Keep your left hand thumb, right hand thumb towards left. Keep your right hand thumb towards left. The fingers on the points above the thumb, fingers at a point above the thumb is indicating into the screen. You can check with your right hand thumb towards left indicating current. The fingers are above your thumb, the fingers are pointing into the screen. Into the screen is minus K cap. So magnetic field at A due to conductor 2 will be mu 0 into 3i by 2 pi r along minus kk same way magnetic field at a due to conductor 3 here conductor 3 is carrying current 4i so i become 4i the distance will be 2r plus r 3r so mu 0 i by 2 pi r will change into mu 0 4i by 2 pi into 3r now this current is towards right we can keep your thumb towards right side, right hand thumb towards right side. So the fingers above the conductor is pointing out of the screen. You can try with your right hand, keep the thumb to the right side. The fingers are pointing towards you, out of the screen. So final answer for B at A due to third conductor will be V0 into 4i divided by 2pi into 3r.
that's around kkf out of the screw now the total magnetic will be the vector sum of these two so here 4 and 2 can cancel it will become mu 0 2i by 3 pi r so b at a is equal to b at a d to conductor 2 plus b at a d to conductor 3 or you can substitute this directly here so mu 0 3i by 2 pi r along minus k plus mu 0 2i by 3 pi r along k Now in this mu zero i by pi r is common. Even k is also common. So what is left is minus with 3 by 2 on the first term plus 2 by 3 on the second term. The rest all comes common out. Mu zero i by pi r is common out, k is common out. So 2 by 3 positive is written first. Minus of 3 by 2 is written second. Now we take LCM 2 into 2 4 minus 9 by 6. So 4 minus 9 minus 5 minus 5 by 6. A negative sign for a vector quantity is always given along with the direction. So 5 by 6 will go to the beginning. 5 by 6 means 0 i by pi r. Or 5 means 0 i by 6 pi r along minus k cap. Minus k cap means into the screen. So the final answer is the magnetic field at A is 5 mu 0 i by 6 pi r minus k cap means into the screen. Now the second part of the question is magnetic force on conductor 2. Uh, the formula for force per unit length is mu 0 i1 i2 by 2 pi r. So if you are going for two conductors 1 and 2 force per unit length of conductor 2 due to conductor 1 so f21 by l2 equal to mu0 current in conductor 1 current in conductor 2 divided by 2 pi into distance between the conductors perpendicular so here conductor 2 experience force due to conductor 1 conductor 2 experience force due to conductor 3 also here we find the direction using like currents attract and unlike currents respect so we'll see one by one so now uh, we'll find force on two due to conductor one so mu zero remains same i1 will be i i2 will be 2i 2 pi into r will be r only so mu zero i into 3i by 2 pi r the direction these currents are in opposite direction so they repel each other Repelling means the conductor 1 will go up, conductor 2 will come down. Since our interest is only conductor 2, force on conductor 2, so the direction will be conductor 2 moving downward minus jk. So including magnitude and direction F21, force on 2 due to conductor 1 will be mu0, i into 3i by 2 pi r along minus jk. mu0 i into 3i by 2 pi r uh, by l2 along minus j cap l2 will take the right side so the force will be into l2 now same way force on conductor 2 due to conductor 3 i1 will be 3i i2 will be 4i the distance between them will be 2r so mu0 3i into 4i by 2 pi into 2r these two also current in opposite direction this is left second conductor and right for the third conductor unlike currents repel so the second conductor will go away from third conductor upward the third conductor will try to go downward but since our aim is only conductor 2 the conductor 2 is repelled upward by conductor 3 so along j cap the final answer for f 2 3 will be mu 0 3i into 4i divided by 2 pi into 2r along j cap. Now the net force will be sum of these two by vector wave. You can cancel the 2 and 2, 4, so it will be mu 0, 3i square by pi r. So f2 will be f21 plus f23. So f21 is 
mu zero three i square by two pi r into l two along minus j cap f two threes mu zero three times mu zero i square by pi r into l two along j cap. Now here uh, three mu zero i square by pi r is common. L two also common. J cap is common. What is left is uh, minus one by two. Everything is taken out from here, so plus one. Now one minus one by two is one. One minus one by two is one by two. Sorry. So one by two will come here as three by two finally. So three by two mu zero i square by two pi r along J cap. J cap means towards the first conductor. That's the final force on the uh, second conductor.